Now, the fun thing about most sci-fi films, as far as I'm concerned, is building the sets. And uh, there are some great uh, packs available at Real Illusion and elsewhere on the net uh, to give you lots of cool props. This is one pack called the Sci-Fi Quarter Construction Set. Uh, it comes with all kinds of great pieces and parts. You can construct uh, walls and floors. And uh, you've got some doors uh, here. Uh, I really like them. I like the look of them. But uh, one thing I don't like is that uh, the props, at least in this pack, are all uh, basically just dumb props. They don't do anything. Like these doors do not slide open. And that's a bit of a pain as far as I'm concerned if you want a character to come through a door. Uh, so what I did was... Uh, and once again, we're in iClone 5. This will all work in iClone 6 just as well. I uh, take that particular texture and launch it over into my paint program. Uh, in this case, it's uh, Photoshop. I save that texture, and then I'm going to go over in uh, SketchUp. I've got an older version of SketchUp here. And uh, I'm going to uh, drag a shape here in the SketchUp window, a basic shape to work with to reconstruct my door so I can make a working sci-fi door. Now I've just created a simple polygon rectangle and now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to import that texture that I saved from Photoshop and any paint program will certainly work. This is the texture for the door frame and the door. Open it up you get a little fill tool there, and then you just click on your uh, object, and it will, will align itself to that particular polygon that I drew. And notice it's a little big, and it's going to duplicate the texture. Don't want to do that, so I'm going to click. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to click on that top uh, bounding polygon there, line of uh, the shape, and I'm going to drag it down here. So now we have just a simple, simple shape right there. Uh, you can uh, repeat that on the other side if you want, but right now we're just going to cut out the door. I'm going to make just the door frame. So just draw a simple line here with the uh, draw tool, straight line tool in the SketchUp. And do that. Now I'm going to select that polygon area and then hit the delete key and cut it out. Now I'm going to select this extrude tool and simply going to extrude that and notice it does a nice job of manipulating that texture all around the uh, shape of the object and so now I've got my door frame I'm gonna select the door frame right click on it and say make it a group and uh, I think that'll work and I'm gonna slide that out of the way then I'm gonna draw another rectangle here and just any size is fine uh, you can reset all your sizing, of course, once you get it back into iClone. And once again, I'm going to go back, and I also saved another texture that I brought over into Photoshop. And I took that texture and uh, saved just the door. I've got the door, uh, left and right door. So I'm going to use this left door image map, use it as a texture, and say OK. And now I'm going to click on my shape there and drag it. And there we go. And once again, I'm going to select that bounding area there of the polygon, select my Move tool, and slide it down like so. And now, what you can do is have a, a, lot, a lot of fun. You can kind of start rebuilding this door. I'm going to cut out this window, which I'm going to let be a window, an opening in the door, so I can see through the door. I'm going to cut this right here. And I'm going to select it and delete it, punch it out. And now what I'm going to do is, once again, extrude the door a little bit, not too thick. don't want it thicker than my door frame. And you'll see now we've got the door on both sides, which will work fine for our purposes. Uh, if you want to get real clever, you can draw some more shapes. Like this area here, you might want to extrude this. So I'll get my curved tool. I'm going to extrude that, and now you see you've got an extruded area, so it gives the door a little more depth, makes it uh, hopefully a little more interesting, not just a flat 
polygon and once again you can do the same down here and draw a little circle and then extrude that and so you can go all around the door find bits and pieces extrude it uh, when we get into uh, iClone we'll we can make easily a, a pane of glass that we can uh, use for the glass inset of the door so you'll just do that a couple of another time make the left and the right door once again I'm going to select the door and make it a uh, group and so now uh, once I've done my other door we'll take this into 3d exchange so here we are in iClone uh, 3d exchange once again this is 5 version 6 will do the same thing uh, I'm gonna open up the door we made and here you can see all the uh, components and parts and you'll be able to line all this back up in uh, iClone very easily the key will be to select just pieces as you can see right there that are related and make them subprops and select just that part there make it a subprop so we got that door and then this door and if you make everything subprops then you'll be able to easily take it into iClone and uh, arrange everything and it'll all be separate objects that will be related to this particular door frame which will be cool so let's go over into let's we'll save this and then we'll go over into iClone okay so we're back in iClone we've uh, Brought our prop, I've got my doors aligned properly. Notice we've got the door A and door B, left or right. We've got the door frame. Uh, everything is attached, so it all moves as one. Now, one thing you might want to do is create a uh, animation perform. So what you might do is open up your uh, timeline, uh, find one of the doors, uh, click on the timeline, set a keyframe right there, let's say, and then we'll just click for on another place in the timeline we'll open the door up let's say so now what happens is it opens up you can of course change it to be slower or faster by moving that keyframe like so and then we'll do the same thing for the other door and we will click a keyframe and then we will move the door like so so now Okay, let's let it hold there a little bit. I'm going to click another keyframe in that position, and then I'm going to go ahead and repeat or copy this keyframe. I'm just going to drag it over here and drag this one over. Uh, get it, hold down the control key, drag it over. So now what happens is the door opens and then it closes. So let's see, it's not playing too smoothly here, but I think you get the idea. Okay, and if you're real clever, you'll add a couple of more keyframes so the doors kind of bump a little bit when they open up so it won't be perfectly smooth. Uh, also, I like to uh, select all my keyframes and change this transform to maybe ease in, ease out so it's uh, maybe a little smoother in some respects. But you can, of course, play with those keyframes, make them do exactly like you want them to do. Okay, like so. So, what I'm going to do now is collect this for door number A and let's just collect this right here not all of those keyframes just the opening keyframes right click add to library and we'll say open and close door and that will add a perform command to that door and what we'll do let's now take a look at what we've got okay so we've saved our door with its components and I've added a few more objects from uh, things I created in SketchUp uh, I wanted some walls that you could see through so I created some very simple shapes that had uh, some openings in them I did a floor I wanted a floor that I had a, a grating that lights could shine through and cast up as you can see some of these reflections here on the wall so uh, starting to set up a scene now uh, I've added uh, simple textures that I've collected from various places to this particular wall shape so this is the beginnings of the scene and uh, let's see how our door is going to work uh, let's run the scene here and uh, Gale comes through and kind of has a problem. The door does not open. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can fix that. So what we're going to do is uh, select one of our doors. And let's see. Da, da, da. Probably needs to open about now. So let's hit our perform key. 
and it's going to open and then it's going to close. Like I said, now you could set this uh, perform up to just open or to just close. I found it easier to go ahead and uh, do them both. Makes it pretty easy to uh, do. So I'm going to do the other door, do a perform on it. Open closed. Okay, don't want it closing on her. So let's open up our timeline and look at those doors. And uh, here we are. Got a little animation clip there. Da -da -da. Door opens. Da -da -da. And let's just break it. And we'll slide it on out of the way. We can delete it if we need to and do another open close if we had to. So uh, let's do this other door here. And it opens up. And we'll break that anim clip there. And of course, I did add the glass panes in the light as in the doors, as you noticed. So you can see through the door. That was just a simple uh, little polygon there with some transparency. So now the door opens. Okay, very good. A little better. So uh, now we've got it. We've got our lights underneath the floor there like we wanted them, casting some shadows up through the grating. And the door opens up. And we'll work on that ray gun's blast later on. But gives you an idea of how to set up the scene using that door. Uh, working props are pretty easy to do. If you save your textures, bring it into your modeling program, uh, and I happen to use uh, the free version of SketchUp. It's very simple to do.